Hey guys, it's Will here and I just want to make this video to uh, kind of celebrate the fact that today is exactly one year of my uh, one year of my YouTube channel. So yeah, I uh, uploaded my first video exactly a year ago today, um, 8th of September and uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a good year. I've done about 120 videos, I've got um, over 380 subscribers last time I looked which is, uh, yeah, it's really exciting, you know, everyone that subscribes, comments, likes this channel, kind of makes me feel like it, it's worth the effort doing this, because I'm not doing it for money, you know, I'm uh, I'm not a big enough channel to monetize yet, and, uh, you know, I haven't got the budget and the resources of someone like Mini Wargaming, who are absolutely awesome, by the way, um, but, you know, I just do this, firstly, for fun, I quite enjoy doing it, and also, as a way of giving something back to the um, the online wargaming community you know there's so much good content out there you know that over the years has been a real help to me and i just feel like i want to give something back and uh, do my own take on things so uh, yeah i'm glad that there's people out there who who actually like what i'm doing so uh, yeah um so stay subscribed you know you can expect more of the same and maybe a few new things um so yeah just want to say thanks a lot to all the guys who uh, you know, have subscribed and um, at the risk of sounding a little bit like an Oscars, Oscars acceptance speech. Also want to just give a big thanks to Sam for uh, all your help with the videos, um, being my regular opponent for my bat reps and uh, giving me a few ideas, a uh, bit of a legend. And um, also want to say thanks to the guys at 40k Gaming for, uh, you know, just the, uh, the good atmosphere down there that allows us to... Uh, um, you know, do a lot of the stuff we do down there. So yeah, no, it's all good. Now, before I uh, um, s show you a few things that I've got, um, you know, some models I'm working on that you guys might be interested to see, just want to, uh, you know, address a couple of comments. As I, I do read all your comments, I may not get a chance to reply to all of them, but um, one thing quite a few people have been saying, and I, I totally hear you when I'm listening on this, is the sound quality on some of the bat reps and some of the review videos. So yeah, basically we are filming a lot of these inside our local gaming club, 40k Gaming, and I've just been filming them on my iPhone. And yeah, I know the sound is not as good as it could be uh, due to basically the way we're doing it. Now I am looking into a few ways to, um, to improve that, possibly like an external microphone for the iPhone. So rather than um, recording straight through the, pho uh, the phone itself, you know, have some sort of mic that's an attachment. Um, if any of you guys, by the way, know of a good one or something else I can do, then uh, yeah, by all means, uh, let me know. You know, I'm open to suggestions, but I am looking to uh, to improve that in the coming months because I know it is a, an issue with my videos. Um, and uh, one other option I'm looking at is being able to record the basically record the audio track, you know, the, the sound part of the video separate from the video now. Quite how that would, would work with kind of making it flow well as a battle report, I'm not sure, but I'm, uh, you know, looking into how that can be done, because I'm not that great when it comes to all the sort of video editing stuff, you know, I, I can do some basic stuff, but uh, I'd like to, to get better and try a few new things, but you know, stay tuned, you might uh, see the quality of the bat reps improve a little bit in, in a few months' time. Um, other than that, I, um, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's left kind of comments about suggestions of things we could do, um, whether that be how I actually play my army, you know, um, I listen to all your tactical advice and some of it, you know, a lot of it's really good advice, um, it's just a case of whether I have the models to implement it etc but no it's all good and i love hearing what you guys have got to say and um you know uh, just people giving really encouraging comments it's always uh, always really nice so keep going on that now um uh, going forward like i said expect more battle reports i've got one being edited against um it's against a mate of mine uh, tom who hasn't played 40k for years and is just sort of getting back into it so uh, that'd be good you know uh, i love playing against sam but it's nice to have a different opponent um now, painting tutorials, oh, I've just knocked my camera, there we go. Um, yeah, painting tutorials, it's been too long since I've done one, and uh, that's not because I don't like doing them, because I do, and I know that there's a lot of people who like what I've put out there. 
but um, the last few months it's been a bit tricky, um, various things, I won't bore you with the details, but um, there is still a Storm Raven gunship in the pipeline, it's just taking far too long to do, but once I get that done, rest assured, it's going to be, uh, be up there on the channel, and looking forward to do some more stuff. I can't be too specific on a time scale, because, uh, you know, whenever I say I'll have X done by time Y, something else screws me over and gets in the way, but... Uh, you know, we're uh, we're working on it. And, um, yeah, expect some more Age of Sigmar stuff. It's kind of been put on the back burner because we've had this uh, 40k tournament coming up at the end of September, so uh, we'll look out for that. Um, but, yeah, there will be some more Age of Sigmar stuff coming for those of you who are, who are into that. Um, as for the tournament, um, obviously I'll be doing another tournament report like uh, the ones I've done for my previous ones. Um, and I have been practicing with the Orcs for it, but to be honest, they're not really working how I'd like. So I might be switching it up, putting the Necrons out there. Um, we shall have to wait and see, going to get some games with them, see what I want to do, maybe add some more units to the Necrons. We'll have to see, I've still got a couple of weeks to decide, but uh, either way, it should be good fun. Anyway, now I'm going to stop rabbiting and show you a couple of things that I've been working on. Um, some nice little uh, paint schemes I've got going. So the first thing I thought I'd show you is uh, these two Death Watch Terminators here. Now as you can see, they're both the uh, Salamander guy from the, um, the Death Watch Overkill box. And uh, basically the story here is that a mate of mine, Jason, who is uh, also a subscriber on this channel, um, has uh, is doing a Death Watch army, but he's getting like um, different people to paint up um, a model for it. So uh, like a lot of the Space Marine players he knows are all contributing one model. Um, I've sort of done this as a as a commission, so I've uh, getting a small amount of cash for this, um, and you know nothing excessive, but uh, what I think it's worth, you know, so it's a good price. Um, I don't usually paint commissions because I'm a slow painter, and to be honest, I have so much else going on. I haven't got time to paint the models I've got, let alone other people's. But uh, you know, this was uh, a project that particularly caught my attention and a model that I was quite looking forward to doing. So uh, yeah, I was more than happy to do that for you, mate. I hope you like how this has turned out. I've gone for a scheme very similar to the uh, the one in the actual box art with the, um, obviously the Death Watch colours and the Salamander bits. Um, quite pleased with how this Melter Gun's turned out. I've tried some uh, sort of heat distort weathering effects on that which is uh, you know it looks probably a little bit better in person than it does on camera but I'm pleased with that and got the fire my sort of normal death watch thing of sharp edge highlighting and uh, yeah you got your chapter symbol up there so I'm uh, I'm pleased with it and I hope you like it too Jason I'll uh, see you down 40k tomorrow night um, on Friday to uh, you know hand that over to you uh, while I was doing that I also did my one of it so I've done this in exactly the same paint scheme basically painted them as a pair so this is uh, my one from the box that I got on launch day um, and yeah he's looking nice I did this uh, scenic base for him now I haven't based Jason's simply because he wants the bases left clear um, so that he can uh, obviously base the whole army in the same way but um, for mine I knew kind of what I wanted so I've got this bit from the uh, city ruins set and um, then this little bit of uh, green sludge coming out of one of the pipes there use some water effects on that and a little bit of rusting around the city ruins so that's uh, that's looking quite nice and uh, yeah I'm uh, slowly progressing on doing the death watch models but um, they are uh, really nice models and I want to make sure I do a good job on them so it's taken a little bit of time but eventually one day I may get to use this codex uh, Death Watch codex, I'm excited about it but I've just got so many other projects on anyway now I'm going to have a quick look at the other thing I've been working on my Stormcast now after my um, or after mine and Sam's bat rep um, about a month ago, which uh, became my most liked and most viewed bat, bat rep pretty much overnight. Um, kind of decided I wanted to do more Age of Sigmar, but I really wanted to use the true Age of Sigmar models. I find that they are, uh, they look gorgeous and the game plays better with the uh, the models that have been designed specifically for Age of Sigmar. So I've uh, been working away on my Stormcast army. Uh, I've got a thousand points built and at various stages of painting. That's a thousand points using the General's Handbook. So uh, got these guys, uh, my Liberators, got 10 of them done, including the um, 
the Liberator Prime, tried some object source lighting on him, actually entered him in a painting contest. Um, but I don't think uh, I didn't quite make the uh, make the prizes on that, but uh, it was still good fun. That was down at my local G-Dub store, and also um, working on the prosecutors. Now there's two finished here. There is a third one finished, but he's uh, currently in the display cabinet at Colchester Games Workshop because he was entered in a contest there as well. Uh, now the rest of the army isn't finished, but it's all in various stages of painting. So I've got my my Lord Celestant on Dracoth, he's uh, coming along nicely. The the actual Dracoth parts of the Dracoth are basically done by the claws and a little bit of highlighting. But I've still got some work to do on the gold and the highlighting of the rider. But uh, he's coming along nicely and I think he's going to be a, a nice centrepiece to the start of my army. Working on some Judicators, um, they're you know about halfway done. I've tried to use some... Uh, Nice scenic bits on the base here, going to build up some uh, some grit around them to fit them in, but uh, they should be pretty cool. And then I've got my, um, uh, what's he called, Lord Relictor, he's realistically only barely started, he's sort of been uh, base coated, washed and had a couple of colours picked out. But he's still further along than my Retributors, who literally just have the base gold on them. Um, but yeah, this army's uh, coming along and hoping to... Uh, um, have this fully painted soon and out on the channel for a bat rep so uh, watch out for that in a month or two um, but yeah in the meantime best round this video up because it's getting too long again um, but yeah um, thanks a lot for watching hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm going to finish with a question what would you like to see on my channel whether it's something you'd like to see more of or something I've not done that you'd like to see you know let me know down in the comments and uh, if it's something I can do, then there's a good chance I probably will. Anyway, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.